Hi everybody, hi my friends. So last week we talked about how we can share Jesus in the, to the people God has put in our lives with our relationships, right? Well, we're going to go closer and closer. You know, I'm sure you want to find out even more, right? Like you really want to know, how am I going to do this? What am I going to say? Who am I going to say it to? Well, God wants to speak to us about even those things. Yeah? Prayers or questions answered. So today we're going to be talking about how we, God can use our, the way we invite people. Just telling people to come. Like, uh, like right now, I'm going to ask somebody to come. Come on, come on over here. Come on. Yay, let's all clap for my new friend. Huh? This is Aubrey. Hey, Aubrey is the one behind the camera. I just invited her to come over. And Aubrey, why don't you come with us later on? Right after this online service, we have a kids huddle. You want to see Aubrey in the kids huddle? Okay, maybe you be able to hear her finally speak there in the kids huddle. <laughs> we'll log on right after the service, okay? All right, we'll see you there, Aubrey. Thank you. Right, bring your cat ears. And all you other guys, bring your cat ears too. You've got cat ears. Well, that's simply how we invite people. Just tell them to come on over, join us for church, join us for a hangout, you know, join us at the huddle. We're going to dive into the Word of God and see just what God says about how we can invite people, okay? Let's open our hearts. Lord, send your Holy Spirit to speak to us. And please share with us how we can invite our friends and family to come to know Jesus. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's start to worship God. Let's all drop everything that we are doing and focus our hearts and our minds in worshiping God. says in Matthew 5 16 in the same way let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your father who is in heaven we have been created to shine brightly in the dark as we live each day to please God people will be drawn to us by then we can share the reason for why we have so much light in us and invite them to have a personal relationship with God. Let us all pray. Dear Abba Father, thank you that you have called us to 
be a salt and a light. I pray, God, that as we continue to shine your light in the dark places, I pray that you'd give us the courage, the compassion, and the grace to invite them to you, the hope and the answer for every question that we have, for every problem that we are experiencing, and for the future hope that we are longing for. Thank you, Lord, for your great love for us. Give us the grace to love others as well. We commit this time of worship to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Another way to worship God is through our giving. So you may give your tithes and offering by following the instructions flashed on the screen. Welcome back to Kids Church for All Ages! We're still here in Rizal Recreation Center in Laguna! And we're now on our second week of our series called... I CAN SHARE! Just a recap, last week we learned about sharing the gospel personally to the people around us. And this week, we'll look at how we can share the gospel by inviting people around us to Kids Church. But of course, since we're still here in our campgrounds, the competition of which team reigns supreme is still on. And we all know, last week we saw the legendary Lions crush the wild Wolverines! Give it up for the legendary Lions! They have one point, but we still have three weeks to go. So let's welcome back our teams. We are the legendary Lions! My name is Teacher JC and I'm Pastor Adrian. Oh, and by the way, we just want to say happy birthday to Caris Krasnil Atilano and shout out to Janina and Gian Cuevas. All right, last week we won. So today we have extra legendary lions. Meet Teacher Wina, Mateo, and Teacher Anne. Welcome back, Legendary Lions! Now let's not forget our Wild Wolverines! Hi! We are the Wild Wolverines! My name is Teacher Annika! And I'm Teacher Maylene! By the way, shout out to Aiden Bedillo and Enrico and Eli Melanchon! Hi! So as you remember, we lost, but today we have our fellow Wolverines joining our pack! Let's all welcome Teacher Carrie, Maxine, and Marco! So our teams are ready. The game for today is simple. Scattered in this field is a bunch of paper clips. The team that can find the most paper clips and form the longest chain will win. There must be one designated chain maker for each team and all of the other team members will look for the scattered paper clips. We will have a total of 90 seconds to form the chain. Let's go to the playing field. Are you ready, Lions? Roar! Are you ready, Wolverines? Roar! Go! Legendary Lions, you did it again! Wild Wolverines, you have to catch up! In our game, we needed to collect as many paper clips as we could and bring them to the chain maker. Now, I want you to imagine that each paper clip is a person and the chain maker is Jesus. 
when we join the church, Jesus locks us in his family. But what about the other people who haven't joined yet? That's where invitation comes in. Today, we will learn that we can invite people so they can hear about the gospel. Let's watch this video and listen to the words! Woo! Hello, my name is Cornelius, and I'm here to tell you the story of how I got saved. It was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I was in my home in Caesarea when an angel of the Lord appeared and said, Cornelius! Naturally, I was shocked and afraid. I froze. And the angel said, Your prayers and gifts to the poor have been received by God as an offering. Now send some men to Joppa and summon a man named Simon Peter. He is staying with Simon, a tanner who lives near the seashore. Naturally, I sent my servants to go look for the guy named Simon Peter. I wasn't sure if he'd come because, you know, Jews and their laws. Jews weren't really allowed to enter Gentile homes. But then, Peter really came. I invited him to my home and told him about the angel's visit. Peter then said something about God not having favoritism. I think he was beginning to understand that the good news he was spreading to the Jews was really for everybody. Not just the Jews, but the Gentiles too. Peter told me, this is the message of good news for the people of Israel that there is peace with God through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. And then, Peter just went on and on about these amazing stories of how Jesus was crucified but rose from the dead, and that he was one of the people who saw him in the flesh right after he died. He said, Everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. And as Peter was talking and talking, there was a spirit that filled the room. I felt power coming in my body and he started speaking in a language that none of us understood. It was amazing! I could feel my spirit worshipping God. Then Peter invited us. He asked if we wanted to be baptized now that we have received the Holy Spirit. Of course, I said yes. What an amazing experience! I invited Peter to my home, but Peter invited me to accept Jesus. That was the best day ever. Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Brandel and I'm glad to be able to share the word again today. But before we start, I'd like to greet some of our friends. I want to give a shout out to Johan and John T. Abraham from India, Arlene Victorique Lopez from Bacoor, Rain and Rizi Intud, and Astrid Aranas. Hello and we pray that you'll get a, a fun time with us here in Kids Church. We are now in our second week of our series, I Can Share. And today we'll talk about I Can Invite People. In the story here from Acts 10, Apostle Peter was the leader of the early church at that time. When the church was very new, it was composed of Jews and they initially thought that only Jews would be saved. But God gave Peter a vision that he welcomes all kinds of people. Right after the vision, some men come knocking on the door asking Peter to go with them. These men were sent by Cornelius, a high-ranking soldier who worshipped God but was not a Jew. God had sent an angel to tell him to go find a person named Peter because Peter had some wonderful news for him. Acts 10.24 CEV version, it says, The next day they arrived in Caesarea where Cornelius was waiting for them. He had also invited his relatives and close friends. As Peter entered the house, he was still talking with Cornelius. Many people were there and Peter said to them, You know that we Jews are not allowed to have anything to do with other people? But God has shown me that he doesn't think anyone is unclean or unfit. I agreed to come here, but I want to know why you sent for me. Cornelius answered, Four days ago, at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I was praying at home. Suddenly, a man in bright clothes stood in front of me. He said, Cornelius, God has heard your prayers, and he knows about your gifts to the poor. Now send to Joppa Simon Peter. He is visiting in the home of Simon the letter maker who lives near the sea. 
I sent forth you right away and you have been good enough to come. All of us are here in the presence of the Lord God so that we can hear what he has to say. Peter then said, Now I am certain that God treats all people alike. God is pleased with everyone who worships him and does the right things no matter what nation they come from. This is the same message that God gave to the people of Israel when he sent Jesus Christ, the Lord of all, to offer peace to them. Cornelius worshiped God, but he didn't know Jesus. God loved Cornelius so much that he wanted Cornelius to have the great gift of salvation through faith in Jesus. So God sent Peter to share the gospel to him. But Cornelius knew that the message of salvation was not only for himself. That's why he invited his relatives and friends. That's in verse 24 and Acts 11:14 14, to listen to Peter's message. It's great that you love God and always worship him with us in kids' church. But do you think God only wants you? Of course not. He loves all people. He wants a relationship with others too. But people will only know about Jesus if someone invites them to get to know Him through church. Attending huddle time or Bible study or personally sharing the gospel with them. One thing that we can learn from this story is that we can invite people. Can you say this with me? I will invite people to a relationship with Jesus. It's not just as simple as inviting people, but our goal is for them to have a relationship with Jesus. Many of us could be the shy type or not the confident enough to tell others about Jesus, but you can still be a channel so others are introduced to Him. And it is through invitation. You can ask your relatives and friends to attend Kids Church with you. Come on, let's watch Kids Church. It is so fun. You can do that as well, or you can also share the link of our Facebook or YouTube Kids Church. This video could be available in your group chats or just message them through other ways that we can do it on our cell phones or even computer. You can even post a photo of your craft and tell others how much fun you had making it and hope that they can also join you when Teacher Plum does the craft sessions. Use your imagination. Pray to God, how can I invite my friends? How can I invite my relatives, my classmates? I'm sure you can find even better ways of inviting people to a relationship with Jesus. The gospel is the best news ever. Can you say that at home? The gospel is the best news ever. Jesus died for our sins so that we can be reconciled to God. Everyone should have that opportunity to hear the greatest news ever. That's why we are going to invite people, not just because they are close to us, as I said a while ago, we want them to have a relationship with Jesus and because Jesus has called us to do so. So for our power truth, can you say this with me? I am called to share the gospel. For our power verse, let's read this together. I am proud of the good news. It is God's powerful way of saving all people who have faith, whether they are Jews or Gentiles. That's from Romans 1.16. Can you say it again with me? I am proud of the good news. It is God's powerful way of saving all people who have faith, whether they are Jews or Gentiles.
16? Jesus told a number of parables about parties, banquets in Luke 14, Matthew 22. In these parables, He tells us that God has invited us to join His party. The greatest party in this world is the one where God is in heaven. We are not able to join that party because of our sins. That's why Jesus came on earth to die on the cross for our sins. When we put our faith in Jesus, we are able to join God's party in heaven. And that is the most important message of all. That's the most important invitation of all. There could be a lot of parties around us, but the greatest invitation is when we share the gospel, we share what Jesus did on the cross, so that all of us, our relatives and friends, we can see each other in heaven with Jesus. Amen? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that you are such a loving God, that we are so, so far away from you. But Lord Jesus, you died on the cross so that all of us can enter heaven. Lord, give us the faith and even the, our, our, our way of inviting people. Faith and boldness and courage to invite our friends, maybe through kids' church, sharing the gospel, being kind to them, doing all these things that you ask us to do so that people will get to have that relationship with you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for the privilege to be called the children of God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Hello, kids, and welcome back to Craft Time with Teacher Plum. That's me. Before we start, I just wanted to say hello to Ashira and Ayisha Agenga and their cousin, Angel Lyra. Also, shout out to Rebecca Zamora, Jayus Blanco, and Isaiah Gio Amon. Hi, kids. I hope you are still full of energy because today we are going to make something exciting. Do you know what it is? Well, I won't tell you just yet because we have to take a look at your artworks first. Here they are! Last week, we made wordless books. These are books that don't have words or pictures on it, but they tell a beautiful story. Our wordless books told the story of how God made a way for us to go back to Him. We were separated from Him because of our sin, but because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, we can now be right with God. Now, we can grow in the knowledge of God and go and tell everyone about this good news. Again, great job everyone! Great job to you too! Today, you and I learned that we can invite people to a relationship with Jesus. And because of that, we will be making invitations! To make this craft, we will need yellow paper and black paper and also some white paper. This is just regular bond paper. We'll also be needing a pair of scissors some glue or some tape, a marker, a black one, and if you want to add some extra decorations, you can use a colored marker. And also, 
we'll need a pair of googly eyes. So let's begin. The first thing that we want to do is take our yellow paper and we want to fold it in half. So if your yellow paper is a bit thin like what I'm using, no need to cut this but if you're using board paper, you can cut this so that you have a half sheet of yellow paper. The next thing that we want to do is we want to fold it again in the middle so we have just one fourth of the original paper that we had. And now we actually have already made a card. So this is the front and this is the middle part where you put your message. This is gonna be the base of our invite. Now, what we wanna do next is we want to take our black piece of paper and then we want to trace the size of our card onto this black sheet of paper. So it should be the size of the width first, okay? So now that I measured it, I just wanna cut this piece of paper to the size that I need. What animal is color yellow and has black stripes? Can you guess it? Oh, I heard it. Of course, it's a bumblebee. So we're gonna make a bumblebee invitation today. So we can set this aside. And now it's time to make the bumblebee stripes. So you understand why this has to be the same width of our card. So I think I'm gonna make three thick stripes. So I'm just gonna fold it for my guide. And then of course, if you're having trouble using the scissors or making the stripes, you can always ask help from your mom or your dad. All right, so now I have three strips of black paper and I'm now ready to just tape them on my invitation card. So I'm using double-sided tape, but you can also use glue. Glue is a friend too. And now I have the stripes on. Next, let's make the antenna. So let's take our black paper and just cut two thin strips of black paper. So I'm just gonna cut this in half to make my bumblebee's antenna. So for the antenna, we wanna stick it on the back portion of this card. So let's use some glue for this one. And now we have our antenna attached. So if you flip the first page over, you would see where we stuck the antenna, but that's okay because later we're gonna cover this with our bond paper or our white paper. Next step is we want to stick on the eyes. So I'll use glue for this too. One for the right eye and one for the left eye. And then using my black marker, I'm just gonna draw a smiley face. Look at our bumblebee invitation. It's super duper cute. But we're not done yet. We have two more steps to go. The second to the last step is to take our white paper and then just cover the inside of our card. This is so we can write well and the person that we're inviting can read our message clearly. So you just have to measure it according to the size of your card and then you can cut it. When you're done cutting the white paper, you can take your glue and just put a little around the inside of the card and then you can stick the white paper on. Don't forget to fold it again. And we're now done assembling our invitation card. So if you see, we have a bumblebee and I'll tell you why we made a bumblebee invite. And then when we open, we have the white space where we can write our message. So now, let's write our message. So what we want to write in our card is Dear, then the name of your friend. So I am gonna write this card to my nephew and his name is Amigo. So I'm gonna write Dear Amigo. Dear Amigo, Jesus wants to be your friend. Then after you write, Jesus wants to be your friend, remember the B is spelled B-E-E, -E, just like our bumblebee, we can now write our invite. It's join me in kids' church this Sunday at 9 a.m. to meet him. And of course, don't forget to sign your name. I'm gonna put 
love auntie plummy and i'm done with my craft it's such a cute invitation isn't it so this is our bumblebee and once you open it it says dear amigo jesus wants to be your friend join me in kids church this sunday at 9 a.m to meet him love auntie plummy you on the other hand can give it to a friend or a cousin who doesn't know jesus yet you can even make more invitations to give away if you want and if there is no way of physically sending your invitation you can make a short video showing your craft and inviting your friend to kids church then send the video to him or her let our craft today remind you that another form of evangelism is by inviting people you can invite them to church or invite them to know Jesus. And that's it for our craft time for today. I hope you really send out your invitations this week. And by the way, if you want your photo to be included in our video next week, and if you want to be part of our raffle for the month of July, please send us a photo of you and your craft to our email address flashed on the screen. Parents, please take your photos in portrait mode and submit them by Monday, 5 p.m. See you next week, kids! Bye! Wait! Don't leave yet! It's Teacher Maylene. Remember the challenge I asked you to do last week? That's correct! The list of names of people you know of who don't have a relationship with Jesus yet. Now the next challenge for the family con is brainstorm as a family how you can invite some of them to church next Sunday. Let me see some creative ideas in the comment section down below. That's it. See you next week. Bye.